Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My setup is not the way it's supposed to be. Now it is. Oh, we're was wonderful on this glorious Friday. It's good to be back, good to be in, and it's time to play some games, and hopefully we're going to finish the Spider-Man DLC. Now I can see why I did my camera the way I did, because if I lean back, you guys can't see me. Get a good view of Bobby Roode and Sub-Zero, though, so maybe it's not the worst thing in the world, but anyway, that's enough about... My setup and everything else. We're going into the game, and now this one's low. Man, all my cameras are a different angle. Anyway, um, so last we were, we were about 50% of the way done. Uh, Silver Sable has been kidnapped, so we need to go rescue her. Black Cat made an appearance and is helping us out. Um, and we're going to these different hideout bases, which have medical supplies given to the country of Zimbabwe. How do you not intro with Mobbin? Well, I think Mobbin is actually copyrighted. So if I include Mobbin in my copyright stream, then I will eventually get muted and I put these videos on YouTube later. So what up, DG Mike Hughes? How are you doing? Welcome to the Liberty Stream. Uh, your sass is not required here. <laughs> I don't even know how to get Mobbin. Like, I need to download it and see what I can do. See, what they do in Fodal is they have um, Spotify up whenever they're running. So that's why you can hear all the other background noise of Discord is because they actually have their desktop audio running when they're doing the stream. Where my audio clip is specifically to one thing. So I can actually mute that audio clip if I need to and talk to people and Discord and all that kind of stuff, so. Just us daily daily? Yeah, I'll see if I can get him to provide it. I know he gave me a Spotify link, but if I could get the actual audio file, I might be able to include it. Um, I have plans to make a dart practice stream, I think. And if that's the case, I'll probably do a chat jukebox. And with that jukebox, then I can actually play sounds because I'm not going to put my dark practice on YouTube, right? Is Mobbin like a song that's played at JMU? Or is it just the dart stream? Because I've never heard it before until Fodal, so. No? Okay. Wasn't sure if it was like JMU's version of Inner Sandman. When I was starting my stream and songs to pick for the intro, I wasn't sure how they viewed copyright. And I was concerned that they were just going to shut me down. Um, now I know I what they do. They're just going to mute my stream, but we go from there. Totally accidentally. You're choking. You do you, man. I'm just super good Mobbin. Yeah, I know. I like Mobbin, too. It's just... It's going to be its thing for... I think if I steal it, it's just stealing. And I don't want to do that. So, um, I'm looking at changing up my starting intro a little bit, but I need to be a little bit more consistent. A little bit more consistent in my intros anyway. So, because usually it says, "Hey, welcome to the stream, and we're playing a game." My workout music is nothing but like wrestling entrances from WWE. So like I have Triple H, I have Stone Cold, and I have all that kind of stuff. So a lot of fuel. Maybe. You probably want it for all those jetpacks. The hey guys gotta end the stand Your bad quick. days about to get worse. <laughs>
I don't know why I don't have mobbing as far as my, um... Dart work. Dart one up, though. Definitely should. Especially as I get ready for... For we'll see, and I get... And I need to have those same kind of songs listed. Badly. Cool. But it didn't, so no risk, no reward, I guess. The Undertaker theme? Yeah. Um, I always, I always wanted to make a college humor video of someone listening to Stone Cold's theme, just like really angrily on the treadmill, just you know, to that. Then you have someone with uh, Daniel Bryan's uh, Ride of the Valkyries, and it's just him on the treadmill the entire time doing the yes chant. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban smoking. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Just him on the treadmill, just slowly walking. And then with Daniel Bryan's hill stage when he was doing no, then you just had the guy no the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a wrestling fan? Do I you want to work out to the treadmill, out. listen to the Great best work. music of the decade? So, here thinking, is our maybe we should store here is 90 minutes of precinct. walking with just wrestling. I would prefer to the WWW. Myself. I get the sense you're not <laughs> telling me something. Uh, I need to start marketing this now. I had a work visa with Sable International. It became invalid when I quit. Even an ID check right now could be immediate deportation. I really wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. I lost my combo. There was only one set of footprints. That's when I webbed you up. Someone who might be a good fit. If you had a visa. I think some of the supers are offering H1Bs based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call around. Oh, he hit me and I lost my combo. Dang it. Yeah, man. I'll catch you later, DJ. Thank you for dropping in. And I'll catch you around. Oh. I don't care about this hundred hit combo. Remembered my name. 
I'm so honored I'll punch you less hard than all the other guys. God. Got it. Looks like I cleared the place out. Whew. First try. And now to find the supply cache for David. This must be the cache of humanitarian aid. Cool. Oh, what is that? You asked for it. Say 
Good night. David, the final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simkarian Embassy and make Simkarian sure the aid embassy. is delivered. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is when you're about to realize he's a villain. I don't know that for sure, guys, so it's not a spoiler, but I don't... <laughs> I don't know. If, I see. He's too good of a guy, right? So something bad's gonna start happening to him, or he's a villain. get a trophy for that. Oh, I still gotta do all the crimes in that area. That's annoying. There's a couple other black things, so I'll probably be there a while. Hey, David. What's up? Spider-Man. I have the supply caches, and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David! David! Hold on! I'm on my way! Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. Wait, what? Did I really go here? No. Cardio in for the day. There's 
David. He's in trouble. We gotta move. Hi, David. You look like you could use a little help. I got this! Save David. Good job, David. You okay? I think so. Thank God for this Sable Lama. <laughs> so, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian Embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. <laughs> but. I meant, what's next for you? Well, a few minutes ago, I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams, <laughs> as you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. <laughs> uh, it's gonna make this betrayal so much more if it actually happens. Ah, <sighs> is it me, or is the world a little brighter right now? Hating <laughs> a hero. I'm just gonna bask in this good feeling for at least the next few seconds, or until something else bad happens. The way to the war. Ah, I guess I'm done. Those okay. cool teachers whose classes are packed. to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Wait. Huh. Must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. A thing of beauty! Oh, Who brings sweet. rockets to a spider fight? Oh, 
going underground again. It's kind of cheating. It's a way to expand the environment without actually expanding the environment. You just create a new room just at every manhole cover or whatever. Yeah. Feels like cheating. I want to call it cheating. Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello! This is so cool. Hey! Whoa, look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. See where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Yeah. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, Whoa. guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. See that coming? Yeah, but so you want insurance for what? For the money you promised us. I think we should have a contract, like legally binding. Are you serious right now? Yeah, boss promised us a cut. Let's see it in writing. <laughs> Stop it! See, we're all heroes, just in different ways. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So let me look at this some more. See if I can figure something. Over here! I'm scared. Shh. 
Spider-Man's been here. Somebody sweet dreams. Nice. Okay, that's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Better not find any lions, tigers, or bears. Oh, my. <laughs> ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. inside the thing like the other guys who was it don't remember his name sal's cousin i think was it messy nah he just came out all maybe not stop breathing we gotta do this quick and then find sable somebody snoring now Place looks like their main base of operations. Oh. Sable jetpacks. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Project Olympus. These pods require a lot. I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. Huh. XRT-89, Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? I'm sticking with Dig Boy. <laughs> So crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. <laughs> Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. Anything else for me to kind of like investigate? I should have a look around, see what I can learn. That cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you are still human. Then make me less human. Huh. I'm I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. Huh. He went crazy. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. 
What is it? Is that a boat? It looks like a boat. Sable. Sounds like she's close. There. The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. You think you know, but you do not know. <laughs> what can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Diamond, you let her loose! Here's the plan. Yep. Good plan.
All right, cool. That was fun. Defeat Hammerhead. You uh, know you left me hanging, right? <laughs> there are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to heat. <laughs> I have an idea. I uh, solemnly <laughs> swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Yeah! Ow. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, this is why Spider Man's the best. This is why Spider Man's so much better than Batman. I said it. You heard it hot. Just just in. Liberty Fires think Spider-Man's better than Batman. Call the cops. Call the press. Guess I'll do some Spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Hmm. Is this some weird street artist thing? Did. A police report. Oh no. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. I guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts. But something tells me I'm not going to find a chest full of gold at any of these places. All right, this sounds cool. I like my mysteries. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Hmm, mystery person's calling card. Wait, what? Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say? You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Oh, there you Helping are. is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Oh my god. How do I another police report and another audio recorder. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Maja informant who disappeared a few months ago. 
I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? Guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does... Do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss does me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. And that one. Should be close. Whoever setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. I don't know who this is going to be. Another crime report. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. <laughs> you have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. Huh. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Alright, so that's 100%. Nice. Let's go here. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. <laughs> Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Maji takes the fun out of everything.
someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. However. But was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... <laughs> Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Ooh. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Yeah, that's different. I was expecting that. set up for me. Understand. Police ruled this a suicide. Huh. But Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. You probably shouldn't, however. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Continue traveling this way because we want to continue trying to get the crime recordings right.
even closer. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But... I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but... When is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, maybe, though. Hmm. Oh no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. No, it doesn't. Remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. These case files are getting more and more recent. 
This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic-looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer. He gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? There's the case file. And the last recording. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Don. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh, oh no. Hey. No. Oh, why did I listen to that? That's horrifying. from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with... Whatever she's dealing with. I feel like she's going to want you to murder her, this enforcer. And what she did on all those grisly murders was kind of prove how evil this person is. So you'll do it. And you're not going to want to do it. She's going to become the Punisher. Wait, what? Yuri, what did you do? That's the Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri. I know what you're going to say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time. Yep. But there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. <laughs> and you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. 
and I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do, and I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. Well, that's it. No. Trophy, unacceptable. I guess the next DLC might cover that. Jets at the That's how we're meeting. She's in her jet, and I'm swinging to her jet. you talked about oh. your toys are so much cooler than mine this invisible floating fortress thing but now that all of New York City has seen it Hammerhead will probably be here soon I am counting on it so let us work quickly she has multiple jets I have acquired the class 5 laser array we need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating lucky for us I'm working on my masters in calibration let's do this okay what's first Pull the housing array into place. On it. Whoa, nice laser. Housing locked. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field aerials. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So, we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? Find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will <laughs> rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. <laughs> okay, well, Shepard, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? What a great Done. quote, by How's the way. Systems appear functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. Okay, ready? Ready. Bombs away! Hit it! Wow. Oh! Just a few more. Cool 
with me. This is fun. Here comes another one. Nice shot. Huh. This is how modern military keeps shooting. Oh, oh, can we do one more, please? What a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the lady. Of course we do. Go to that terminal and wait for me to activate the system. System ready. I'm going in. Okay, that should do it. Bad guys. And shoot him. Shoot him. You two teaming up now? Cute. But it ain't gonna do no good. Uh, Sable? Use a little help here! That's it! Can you- I am trying. Okay, we'll just do the hammerhead waltz for a bit. Look at me! Almost you can't kill me! I just wanna thank you for showing me what I've been doing wrong for years! Sable, what you said! Later, it's back online. Oh. Get in close. You guys just don't give up, do ya? I respect that, but I'm still gonna kill ya! I need reinforcements! Now! You're going down! Three of the guards! Manny <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on. Come in, boys. I'm indestructible! Got it! I see it! Moving in! Okay, now I can do some real damage. This one's for Yuri! Give up now! Before I really... Nice. Still no respect! What's it gonna take? Do you know what I respect? A guy who knows when to quit! Oh. Commencing bombing run. Damn, I missed. Keep them coming. I'll make sure the next one hits. I dropped the bomb. You throw it at him. You're going down. Oh. Can't let him hit me. Oh. Look at me. You can't kill me. Oh. This is like a truck. You insist! You two got killed! 
Again, nobody saw that. I gave you one chance. Join my crew or die. I'll take what's behind door number three. I am on approach. Come on in, boy. I can't let him hit me. His shield's too strong. I need to disable it first. More bombs coming in. Oh. Was fun. Yeah. Hey, you have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. I must return to Simcaria. Right. Oh. You have a war to fight. I do not like to fight. I do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh yeah. Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? Actually, they're good jokes, but I understand <laughs> humor can be subjective. Thank you, Spider-Man. For everything. Oh. I don't do hugs. Oh. Yeah, right. Of course. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? I, I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. Cool. Was that the ending? So, huh. I 
really expected there to be a little bit more. I was surprised that was the final fight. I thought it was good. I thought it was enjoyable. It was, challenge it was hard. It was challenging. I liked that fight. I thought it was better than the fight in the second one. Um, it just kind of felt that there was more to the game, and apparently not. So now I need to go do some crimes, and that'll be 100%. Huh. Yeah, that's to yeah, that's fine. Just got me off guard. Wow. So the city never sleeps. Overall, um, if this is the final chapter of the trilogy, which I think it is, I thought I thought the setup was really good. Chapter one, which was the Black Cat storyline, um, had a really good setup to establish the Magia crime family. You were definitely intrigued by Black Cat. That might have been the best story overall. Um, the second one, which was Turf Wars, Yuri Yatanabe was the most interesting character in that story. And you just wanted it to continue. Like, first one had a better story. Second one was good. It definitely had better combat, and better actions, better missions, I thought. But at the end of the day, you knew it was a setup for the next one, just the way everything played out. This last one was definitely challenging. It was good and had hard for moments to it, but it definitely doesn't have an ending that makes me feel excited. Like I'm left wanting more because I'm unsatisfied instead of man, I. I really want to play more because this is great, right? Um, Silver Sable herself, I thought was fine. I thought that was good. It definitely showed the impact Spider-Man has on his friends, which is good because that's what you want. And then they did the exact opposite with Yuri, right? Yes, Silver Sable, who's this badass, uh, who becomes a little bit more human a little bit more of a hero by interacting with Spider-Man and saving the day. And then you have Yuri, who is already human and already wants to do good things, who becomes sick and twisted, and Spider-Man can't do anything about it. So that's an interesting kind of thing. I can't wait to see what to do more with Yuri. Um, I thought they could have done more with the humanitarian mission. Like, I thought that was fine. It was bases and the base challenge, base master challenge, but once he did everything, it was like, okay, what's next? They played a lot with the Civil War, but in uh, some Tukaria, but they didn't actually do anything with it. Like, they didn't make any other references to it, so I thought that was a disappointing action. Once again, no big Spider Man villains. I didn't want to think about and just have Hammerhead and Silver Sable, which is fine, but I thought there was an opportunity there somewhere. Um, I guess he defeated Screwball, which was good. I would have liked a line somewhere about how she lost her followers or her Twitch account or whatever you want to call it, got banned. I think that's missing out of all this. Yeah.
the Yuri Watanabe storyline, that's the obvious one that they could go into on the next DLC, but I really don't... There's nothing left to really open up to that. Um... It'd also be weird if they still continue to have villains with Sable Tech, so I almost feel like you have to bring back... Mr. Negative, almost. Terra Platt. I don't know who Terra Platt is. That sounds familiar. Um. Yeah, so if they do have to... Like, they... Because all these characters they had in here were basically your Magia Fugs, which is what you were fighting the entire time, and those were pretty similar. Then you basically fought increased, better versions of, or the same Sable Goons, but they were dressed up as Magia Hammerhead Fugs. Um, so the next DLC, you have to somehow reintroduce the Sable Fugs, but they can't be from Sable, they have to be from something else. And I don't know how that's going, how that is going to be included, right? Um, uh, excuse me. It could just be Oscorp, like Oscorp Tech. That would be the very easy and very obvious one. Um, it could also be something like Hammer. That could be interesting if Hammer can. Maybe someone stole Stark stuff, actually. Maybe they decided to go that way. They also haven't done anything with Miles. They keep hinting at it, but they haven't actually done anything with it. So maybe the next DLC is actually Miles stepping around trying to do something. And that would be interesting if they do decide to do something with Miles and they just totally depower you, right? Something happens to Peter, Peter's in a coma, can't help out, he's in the hospital. So then Miles has to become Spider-Man for a day. And you lose a lot of your abilities and powers because Miles is brand new. That'd be good. I, the more I think about this idea, the more I like it. So, I don't want them to do that in DLC. I don't want them to do that in Spider-Man 2. Huh. The other thing I have to decide now is what I want to do for the rest of my stream. Do I want to just end it here and call it an early stream and then tomorrow we can play Batman? I'm Batman. Um, or maybe something else like WWE 2K16. I could start the stream, go eat lunch, and come back, and we might be able to do some WWE later, but I don't know. If anybody in the chat has a thought one way or the other, let me know. I just want to make sure I thank out to all the people who are auto-hosting me. Much appreciated to you guys, Turtle Verified, Adriatic, and C McG. Uh, much appreciated. Love all that. I think I'll just call it here. That way we can get... Yeah, so I definitely think we're going to take a break. I might decide to come back later, but... Um, I just... I need cook. I need... I need cook, I need dog walk, I would like to do a dark practice in before the weekend. And if I come back, I might just do like some early stages of WWE 2K16 um, to get that story started. Friday Night Liberty. <laughs> so, I don't know. You know what? Where is he? Where is the good old Liberty Dollar? Alright. So as always, the Liberty Dollar, who is actually very good at predicting matches on WWE, but me and him have a good rivalry, the Liberty Dollar versus the Liberty Fires. Um, we're going to say heads is Batman, tails is WWE 2K16, and that's what we're going to decide to play tomorrow, or that's what we'll decide to play here tonight or tomorrow, right? Um, 
and that'll just be the way we decide. Uh, definitely still want to play WWE 2K16, but I'll probably do that on like a Monday or a Tuesday. Maybe Sunday. Sunday Sunday Night Liberty? Monday Night, Monday Night Liberty just makes sense. I know I'm playing Left 4 Dead 2 Monday, so maybe I do it on Tuesdays. I don't know. Anyway, hold on. Heads is Batman, Tails is Spider-Man. Tails. Tells us WWE, so that's what we'll play later today. Ugh. These intros are really long in order to get to the end. I could skip, however. I'm going to take two minutes here to talk about gunner glasses and how much I like them. Like, gunner glasses are great whenever you're looking at monitors all day. Um, I actually think I probably will get a pair for work. I'll actually get a pair for work and then also um, look into getting prescription glasses, too. Since I know I'm going blind over time. But yeah, gunner glasses, like, if you just look at monitors all day and you get that kind of sensitivity over time, uh, I would recommend them because they do definitely help out with that. Um, they also help out with glare, if that's something else that you deal with as well. Um, they are a little pricey, they're $50 on average if you find them on Amazon, but I think they're just worth it over time. I'm, a huge fan of them. Oh, I actually have another set. Oh, uh, okay. Guess what I just learned, guys? This is me being dumb. So I have this set, which I was very anti for the longest time uh, because they like pinched the back of my head. That was a problem. They extend. <laughs> That might change. Now I gotta look at these and see if they extend. No, okay. These don't extend. These do. See, now I don't know how far I should go back. like a new person. <laughs> I also think I told someone that I would uh, let them try it out at work, so I might have to give them one of my pairs of glasses. No. Uh, yeah. But yeah, something to definitely look into. And make sure that if you buy a pair of gunner glasses, see if they actually extend on the uh, frames themselves. That way they don't pitch your head like mine did for the longest time. The more you know, someone clipped that and edited it. Or it's just going to be me going back to my own pair. Because these pair I know are just good. Traditionals. They work. Man, I'm not going to have Spider-Man to play for a while. Is there an announcement of the next Spider-Man DLC? Ooh! Subniac speaks against gamer entitlement, says Spider-Man DLC was developed after the game went gold. Insomniac and its community manager in particular received a lot of social media harassment from a vocal minority. to get constant requests to add the so-called Raimi suit, the one worn by Tobey Maguire's movie, to the game. Just ahead of the release of the last season of Pass DLC.
Yeah, so people apparently were complaining that the Spider-Man suit from the Steve Raimi movies was not in it, but they actually were. They just couldn't say it until the DLC came out. That's funny. Oh, man. People like James Stevens seem to forget that selling is thing that makes a customer entitled to a server because they paid for it. If you released a game for free and then decided to shit on your own community, that's one thing. That's the same thing when people pay for service. We sold a complete and excellent single player experience in a box that reviewed well and is blown by billions. I love how James Stevens called Spider-Man a box. Complete experience, yet they held back three chapters in order to sell to players. City of Never Sleeves was all developed at specifically at post-launch content. It was really almost entirely after the game went gold, so I was correct. Damn! Burn! <laughs> fair to kind of criticize Spider-Man. Spider-Man DLC. You get a complete experience with a single-player game. It's not like you had to buy the DLC. I think that was fine. Um, if you want to say the Spider-Man DLC was not as strong. Okay. If you want to say the DLC is bad and you have to sell DLC to games, this is not the game to... Uh, use as your example. This game was fine by itself from start to finish, and the DLC was a completely separate story that would that worked well. So there was no like, oh, in order to see the full story, you have to then go and play the DLC. So that's not fair. I don't know how many people are saying that on Twitter and social media, but that's not fair. So. The end of 2018 brings us to the final chapter, so we're lining. Though its conclusion isn't exactly satisfactory, it's still a fair amount of extra content for folks who enjoyed one of year's most casual games. Yeah, okay. And I think that's really what it is. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, okay, so the same paragraph, essentially what I said earlier, but this one's not as rambly as what I do whenever I'm at the end of games. While Silver Lining is overall enjoyable, it comes up somewhat lacking in the story de department. The Miles Morales, Yuri Watanabe, and Black Cat subplots don't come to meaningful conclusions. We don't even get to fight any new iconic Spider-Man villains. In a lot of ways, the DLC feels like it's setting up things for the inevitable Spider-Man sequel. That's all well and good, but it would have been nice if the City of Never Sleep storyline came to its own proper end. And that's fair, like, I guess you defeated Hammerhead, and if the storyline for the City of Never Sleeps is defeating Hammerhead, great, we did that. But Miles, we still haven't done anything with. Yuri Watanabe, we teased as a future villain that we haven't done anything with. Black Cat showed up and disappeared, which doesn't conclude anything it just goes hooray now we can continue to have a story with this character i'm glad that this reviewer says that the game's harder than the main game good
This reviewer says that they're not going to do any more content for Spider-Man. I might disagree with that. I think there could be at least one more DLC that comes out. Um, I just think it's going to be... Maybe a year away. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be excited whenever there's DLC that comes out, so. We'll just have to wait and see. And I forget how long these credits are, and we need to finish the credits, we need to go get all of the trophies, and then once we get all the trophies, then I can go have dinner. <laughs> um, so I started Green Chef, which is a Hello Chef, or Hello Fresh, Blue Apron kind of hybrid. Um, it's, I don't call it a gimmick. What separates Green Chef from the other competitors is it does diet based recipes so when you're deciding to do green chef you can say i'm on the paleo diet let me do that uh, for me i'm on keto i'm trying that out so it's here's the keto diet here are five recipes that follow keto pick three and we'll ship that to you so so that's enjoyable um i'll probably start posting those images on twitter maybe instagram i haven't figured that out exactly yet but yeah, I'll let you know. I'm still looking at the possibility of doing a stream related to cooking. Um, we'll just have to see, right? Because I think there is a couple things I would need to do to get that right. Uh, the other real life stream that I'm thinking about doing is my dart practice stream, which would be a community jukebox. It would be me, Throwing darts, hitting my numbers, talking about darts. Um, I'll probably come up with different topics I want to talk about. And then people who subscribe to the channel will be able to recommend songs, play them, that kind of thing. So uh, we'll have to look at that. Let's see. Um, I don't think I'll open it up to the community community just because I do want to make sure that only certain songs are played when I'm practicing because I can't handle like really bad songs during that. Throw me off my groove. My groove is my groove. So. Alex Bees, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fire Nation. Sorry you came in at the end of the game kind of thing. Um, yeah. Welcome to joining in on chat. And again, kind of what we're doing. Uh, we're waiting for the credits to roll because we always make sure to roll our credits after we're done with games. Um, and we want to see what the end game credit scene is going to look like because all of those have been pretty good. I'm curious to see if it leads into a future DLC or a future, um, or a sequel, right? And then part after that would be finishing up the crimes and getting those trophies. So, yeah, let me know how you're doing, Alexa. Oh, it's Alexa. Alexa Beast, yeah. 
my puppy is here wanting to pay attention. How are you? So yeah, that brings our follower count up to 61, which is good. And again, like, already exceeding my expectations with that, so I'm going to go from there. Oh! We're at the beginning of a new month, so remember, everybody, if you have not used your Twitch Prime sub, go find someone on Twitch and use your Twitch Prime sub. It's free with Amazon Prime. You, If you have Amazon Prime, you have a Twitch Prime, Prime sub. Um, just make sure you're using it. It's free money for someone. It supports them. Um, you'll see the biggest smile in the world, especially if you give it to small streamers. If you want to give it to your big streamers, go ahead, right? That's what you want. And big streamers have great things to give away, too, for their sub badges, so that's fine. Um, but I know personally what I try to do with my Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime, free sub. Go find a small streamer out there who's in the affiliate. Just let them have it. That way they feel good, they're excited, it's like found them, you're talking to them, that kind of thing. So. So, yeah. This is something to go look about. Actually, probably what I'll do. Go here. Boop. Uh, are we almost done? Are we at legal? Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. So yeah, we'll definitely, yeah, Assistant Creative Director is about kind of... Well, this doesn't sound me like games make, now that I think about it. I shouldn't clank. Did they really make Spyro the Dragon? <laughs> This looks like two different games. So they made the original Spyro. Huh. And then they made the Ratchet and Clank series. Resistance is a series of first person shooter games. Ah, I remember Resistance. Seven Eight Games focuses on maintaining its independence. Despite working solely for Sony Interactive for decades, it's never been part of Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios. Studio partnered with Sony because Sony helped market Insomniac games. The company's team found being controlled by publisher is frustrating. According to Price, working with Sony is an autonomous process. Sony can provide input into development of the game, but Insomni has complete control of them. Sony later decided to produce games for platforms under Sony's PlayStation series, so it can own the right to its franchise and shadow its own brand identity. Okay. When developing its next game, the Sognet usually works on games it considers itself good at making. These focus on storytelling, creative weapons, and third-person gameplay. The company also organizes the importance of developing new intellectual properties. Hmm. Price considered game design a kind of social design in which the team solve problems together. Price said uh, said trust an essential part of game development. Huh, okay. Ted Price, the founder, got it. What did he work on? Oh, 
he has nothing exciting. He's a controller for a medical company? Meh. It's in the same building as Naughty Dog, huh? and Clank, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for the Wii, and they don't look like they've done anything yet. He was the prince and prince of Persia. <laughs> Which one of these Castlevania games? <laughs> His wife's terror plat. Yep, that's what I thought. Does the voice of Ben Tennyson? He was the voice of the prince in Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Cool. That was a great game back in the day. I own it, but it doesn't have any achievements, so I just haven't really... a desire to play it. Um, that might be something that we look at, is games on Steam that don't have achievements, and going and playing those after some time, right? Full land of the role of Superman. Oh man, this is the voice of Superman and Spider Man? That's not fair. Lightning Lad and Brainiac 5. He came back and he did the reading for Superman. 
And then when they called him back, he read for Superman and Brainiac 5, and he said, stop, you got the remain role, you can be Superman, and went on from there. Okay, so he wasn't the voice of the original Ben Tennyson. He was the voice in the sequel. All right, let's see what this end credit seems like now. Please. Please. Oh, man. Ready? Uh. I think the web shooters are a little tight. Get used to it. Just try to keep up. No, the end credit scene did not do anything okay hammerheads finished. cyborg spider-man men suit. are still out there a spider's work is what <laughs> that's cable <laughs> Ever done. All right, so now I need to swing around and solve crimes. Fight all these crimes, and we'll get the last suit, and we'll be good to go. Supply truck with stable equipment is under attack. Officers near Gramercy, please report. Today's a fine day in New York City. Let's kick it up a notch. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> oh. what the people in Simkaria are going through right now. Hope these shipments help. Hammerhead. 
Bed bugs, more gold necklaces. guys were either really desperate or really dumb. Maybe both. It's two, uh, three more. Better call Sable and tell her to pick up her tank thingy. <laughs> What's left of it anyway? Jared. All units, assistance needed at a standoff with Magia. Available officers, please proceed to Brian. Over. Tanker standoff? Everything's coming up Spider-Man. Everything's going up Spider-Man.
unit. Officers are in pursuit of truck with stolen sable equipment. Reported location is the garment district. Over. The garment district? What does that mean? See, I'm learning so much about the city now. That's what this game is. This game is a... Here's... What New York is like. Here's how you travel around the New York. Here's where the relative location of everything is. Because, like, if you ask me where in New York Times Square was, I don't think I would be able to tell you Manhattan. Now I know. Back to this one. Do a crime in another location. So I'm completely done with the south. So I just got these three areas to worry about. Yeah, okay. Be advised, we have reports of mod activity along a stable supply route. Available officers, please proceed to Koreatown. Hammerhead stealing guns and food now. Nice. You guys don't need more guns, and you definitely don't need the food. Nice. 
should remember to tell Sable about this later. Maybe it'll get me on her good side. If she has one. <laughs> Why is it always rockets with you guys? Dodging rockets is a lot more fun than getting hit by them. Oscorp would stop making this stuff for Sable. These guys are gonna get what's coming to them.
Cool. So here, get one down here. Looks like that Oscorp truck could use my help. I like you guys better when you were this much man in your fashion business. choices. Time to push a book, boys. Careful. I heard him call for backup. Go. Serious about stealing Sable Tech. 
Well, they're serious about everything, to be honest. are firing on police from stolen APCs. Officers near Bowery, please respond. Oh, hey, you guys get me a present? I know someone who you really likes your APC bag. I broke Sable's property. Accidentally. Totally accidentally. guys are raiding those trucks. Can't they just go to the store like everyone else? I can't believe you guys were having a block party and didn't invite your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That shipment will still be able to make it to Simcaria safe and sound. Thanks for the assist, Spider Man. We'll take it from here. Thank you. See the Spider Verse suit unlocked? The city just sleeps. Trophy! The city sleeps! Trophy earned. I guess it's the yeah yeah that's not bad it looks animated I think yeah 
Yeah, it's definitely more animated than the other suits out there, right? Yeah. Let's double check, make sure we got everything. That says 100%. Cool. Get spectacular better. Complete the old friends mission. Complete the screwball chase. Yep. Complete the one plus one equals win mission. Complete the aiding a human mission. Complete scales of justice. Yep. Cool. So that's that. We're done. Yeah. Uh, the only other suit I gotta unlock is the hidden suit that's not listed here. Maybe I'll go do- nah, I'm not gonna go do that. It's just a t-shirt with him with Empire State. But I don't have- but I don't want to start a new game later, so maybe I will do it. Let me go... Photo locations, Spider-Man, PS4. Spider-Man, the situation's under control. I know it is. I saved the day. All right, so Harlem, so we'll start there. I don't even know how many of these I need, but we'll get it done. All units, witnesses are reporting civilians are trapped following a car crash. Witness reported location at Sugar Hill. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Forty three fifty, so we need seven. What was that? That was number eight. Be advised, getting reports of a mugging in the area. Nearest officer, please proceed to Hamilton Heights. All right. Maxie! style BD instead of church so Kirsch yep okay ten thirty one report of a break in known of suspects are armed nearest officer please proceed to Manhattanville Wall. 
assume we got that one. Some sure of a tall white monument. Good shot. Great if all of these are in Harlem, actually. So I need to go here, -ish. which I think I already got. Rider got that. Osborne came offices, which is right here. statue in the middle of a roundabout, so I need to go here. -ish. Take photos. That's what Spider Man would do. That's actually what they want me to take photos of the greenhouses. Find the greenhouses on the ground level. Yeah. It's this I built. Okay, those are done. Upper west side? No, we're gonna go upper east side. And we're gonna go. Here -ish. I'm glad none of the windows are open. That would be funny though. 1080, chase in progress. Nearest unit respond. Incident is active near Carnegie Hall. Pull over now! Blackwing Tavern open bar. Uh, looks like Kirsch. Collision. Report came in near Gracie Mansion. Over. 
Sent the water fountain in the second plaza? Yeah, so I did that. And around this way. Got a picture of the entrance library advertising Greek Over. myths outside a large hangar. Huh. Let's go to Central Park. Which I'm pretty sure I got all the Central Park ones. I'll be surprised if I didn't. Yep. So the next one's here. Nice composition, if I do say so myself. Remember how I said I thought I got all the, uh, Central Park ones? I'm a liar. What up, AMAC? How you doing? Yep. We're finishing up Spider-Man. We're just swinging for the city, taking photos of stuff. And then we're gonna call it a day, I think. We're gonna pour it. We got it. I need like two more photos, one more photo, and then I'll unlock a really funny suit. It's not really funny, but it's funny. Find the pointed hexagon building. I'm gonna say maybe it's. We're just gonna put it there. This looks like a point of hexagon building that I probably already took a photo of. Keep swinging down. The next one. All units. The statue of two for civilians people. involved in a vehicle. And then large monument. Collision. Incident is active near Ansonia. 
Here you go. Try to get that one. That looks like a large monument. So now we need to go here. Hey, Mac, you missed it earlier, but I figured out that my gunner glasses are adjustable. <laughs> Yeah, it was helpful. I'm not wearing them though still. I'm still wearing my old ones because I just grew comfortable to those, but there's this moment of realization that I'm an idiot. And now I'm going to have to check to make sure any glasses I buy from Gunner are always going to be adjustable or not. Alright, Fisk Tower's fine. Uh, they want me to go... For natural Murdoch area. Well, I don't know where that is. So it's like right here. You can try them. Yeah. Again, I'm sold on them. I think they're super helpful. I'm also thinking about trying to. I'm considering getting a pair for work. But I don't know. Need backup for a vehicle pursuit in progress. Officers, please converge on Longacre. And it seemed like a waste of time. And then we go up here, like right there. Seen a lot of people work with them with not sure the brand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are other brands out there now and not gunners, but gunners might be the point where it's just gonna be more expensive because of the brand name, but I don't know. It works though because I can't name another brand yet, so Until I make Liberty lenses. <laughs> Liberty lenses. Someone call Gunners now. I got a great idea for them. Need officers to respond to a car crash? Civilians are trapped. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over. Stemtular, yeah, I got this one actually. And then Midtown. So. Right around here. -ish. Yeah, so kind of as I talk to others, this will be not the last PlayStation game I play, but it'll be PlayStation will be moved to the back end while I focus on Steam games and going after some Steam achievements. Uh, probably going to start a little bit with WWE 2K16, just because I think that's going to be not a chore, but. Chore sounds like it's something I don't want to do, and I definitely want to play the game. This is going to be time consuming, I think, compared to some of the other games. So, 
Yeah, we're gonna start with that and just play that over the course of 2019 until we get the, um, the game that we're kind of looking for. Then we're gonna go play Batman Arkham City Blackgate, which should be fun. I don't see any issue with that. And then Portal, which I think is gonna be a really fun game to play. I played it a long time ago. I can't wait to play that again. to go to Greenwich, which I guess is close, but it's on the opposite side of where I am. Can I get to... Yeah, let's go there. All units 1034, repeat, assault reported. Officers needed near Turtle Bay. Wouldn't be sad if I didn't find all of the um, photo ops, though. By one look up the photo ops to get the locations of them all. And then have the guide to help me out, right? This one is right here. -ish. As long as I'm picking good, smart kind of locations where I think they are, according to this map, it should be fine. The mini map should populate where the actual photo is. Photo of the skate park underneath the bridge. Yeah, that's probably one I need to get. This one allows me to swing around the city, which is a lot of fun.
Large graffiti of rhino in the hall. Street and I don't know what these streets are named. That's not fair. Attention all units. A kidnapping has been reported. Don't care. Location is north Wait. end of Chinatown. We are looking for graffiti. There is Rhino. Okay, yeah, I saw that. And then up here is number eight. What do you got to store front of Leo's Pizza? No, that's the New York City Hotel. Interesting. Corner of Cordenset. And so new profile Attention units, we have a break in in progress. Location Easily in the north end of yeah, China. Okay. So I'm gonna start with number we're gonna work backwards on this one. that one then and then this thing in the middle that looks like the bull. not the pool because they didn't allow the bull and the stock market
here. More experience. It's interesting. So I need one more. Just All units, we report of a car crash. Civilian car crash. Swing back, make sure this guy's fine. I would have been to our buck theater. That would have taken a photo of. All right. So right. Got that one. Kirsch. Ten ten. Need officer to respond to a reported drug deal. Officers needed in Tenderloin. Please copy. Can I get another grab? This is it. Feel like I've already gotten this one. Nope, I didn't. Wow. Photo ops complete! Alright. And spider suit. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. And then we go here, we go here. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> yep. That's the hidden suit you get in the game. The Empire State University. And we got it. Cool. So now we've done everything in the game. Except for oh, some of the challenges I still need to go get. All the tokens for it. But anyway. That's it. We're done. Um, yeah, so we're going to call that a day. I got to go cook some late night dinner. And then tomorrow we'll start with WWE 2K16 a little bit. 
Um, unless I change my mind and decide to go with Batman. All right. So I want to thank AMAC for jumping in and joining with me today. I want to thank DJ My Cues as well for joining with me. I want to thank all the lurkers in chat and all the people who auto host me on stream as well. Uh, much appreciate everyone there. Um, this guy. Yeah, I think we're going to go check out the only Zebra 9 uh, It looks like he's playing some Warframe, and it'll be good to catch up with him again, right? Yep, have a good night, AMAC, and I'll talk to you guys online tomorrow. All right, later. Bye!